So how's everybody feeling right now? Not good. No, we're not really sure what we ate. We were gifted some food that I defrosted yesterday and cooked up. And it had a funny kind of appearance, but I didn't want to waste it. And I threw up! And that was really not a nice way to... It wasn't a good gift. <laughs> When the kids are sick, it's important that I can see them, but that they're somewhere just where they can rest. So I've laid a sheet on the couch and they've got bowls and paper towel and they're just hanging out watching Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs right now. And I'll call them for lunch in a bit, but this is just the zone of ickiness. I know. Nobody but Gemma's thrown up, but everybody's a little woozy, so... I we'll... was really dizzy this morning. Yeah. I was really woozy, and I think I got the baddest. Something has struck our house from last night into this morning, and it's affecting me and the kids. Jesse has left with my eldest. They seem fine to go on an outdoor excursion that was already planned. So I am home by myself this morning and I'm recovering from feeling really woozy last night. It happened about nine o'clock. I realized something's not right with me and it wasn't me looking at YouTube. <laughs> it was something I ate with the kids at lunch. You never know sometimes what will make you sick, but definitely we've had some woozy gastro thing hit us. And in a large family, that can be awful. So I thought I'm gonna take a video of it today. I'm gonna show you what I've done in the course of my morning. I'm feeling gross myself, but these are things that I've learned over 10 years of parenting. I have to soldier on if, unless I am flat out dead on the bed. I have to still roll with it. So this is sort of like my mom uniform that I wear every day. I just have an assortment of little like cotton dresses. I wear tights and slippers and an apron and I feel every morning I take a shower and I get into a fresh little house dress and that helps me to just as a first thing I am tidy myself and I can go to work feeling a little bit better. The next thing I always do is I set out my diffuser. It just makes a pleasant smell in the house while I'm cleaning up who knows what. So, as you know, fluids and rest are the best cure-all. So I'm just going to be making up a big pitcher, half apple juice, half water, for the kids and I to have throughout the day just to help rinse everything and it's really easy when it's all pre-made to keep pouring it and I keep this container in the fridge. Good, thank you. I've always got popsicles in the freezer for when the kids are feeling gross and especially the babies, it just seems to be something that they want to eat and it's giving them fluid and I don't care if it's a little extra boost of sugar. Lunch today is not gonna be from scratch. It's going to be easy because I'm feeling yucky too. I'm just gonna make some toasty cheese melts and uh, this is just minestrone soup habitat minestrone soup that I know will give us some vegetables and a little bit of barley. And if they just wanna have a little bite of this, I know it's good nutrition and that's about all we can stomach right now. Bless us, O Lord, and these thy gifts which you're about to receive from thy bounty through Christ our Lord, amen. Are there children who are feeling yucky somewhere in the world today? that do not have good food? Yeah. Yeah, so let's pray that our suffering today, we might take some away from other people in the world and just unite our sufferings with you, Jesus, and your heart and make us stronger from this illness. Everybody seems to be eating a little bit of the lunch okay. So that's a good sign. And we'll just pick away at 
this food and hopefully the afternoon will bring us a little bit closer to feeling like our normal selves. So every day I do give the kids vitamins and even though everybody's yucky, I'm still gonna give them vit their vitamins today with their meal, but I'm not giving them as many because I'm just not sure how, especially the vitamin C is gonna go on their tummies. So everybody's got a multivitamin and a vitamin C and a vitamin D. And they're all chewable and that makes it easy. And then I take my multivitamin as well because I'm nursing and I also take every day some turmeric and if it, if it was a sickness that involved like coughing and runny noses, I also have these elderberry gummies that I have, but I'm not giving that today because I know it's a gastro thing. The kids are perking up. <laughs> They finished their soup and they've eaten mm, some, most of their, I ate all my soup. Of their bread. And so, and they've, if they have drank their drinks and finished their soup, I'm giving them all a popsicle too right now. And they've been like at the same time. Yeah. And, and, so, and me and Jenna does it at the same time too. Being sick does have its perks in our house. It's the only time of year that you get a popsicle without any question and you get to sit on the couch and watch TV. When the kids are sick, I use disposable diapers. When they're not sick, we can get by with cloth diapers in the house. But do not take a chance when the kids are sick, go to the disposable diapers. You will save yourselves so much work and trouble with the cloth diapers. Joseph, let's see your comfy, clean outfit now after lunch. Good boy. is done the bathroom is clean and I've put out fresh towels again so that we're all ready to go for the next round in here underneath the sink is where we keep all of our laundry in the house and yeah I just throw it all in I don't even sort it because there's no room but I do a load or two a day more when we're sick so in the washing machine right now I have the the dirty towel along with some other socks and undies. And then I've got drying the blankets that were on the kids' beds last night and I had to wash one person's sheets. So I'm gonna put those back on the bed now, making sure everything is just clean and dry for people tonight and has no more sign of yuckiness with it. Joseph, you found Philip's Lego, but before I found you, I smelt you. I'm so glad I put on that disposable diaper because we've got a diaper change about five minutes after getting change from the bath. That's how it goes. We've come outside, it's about two in the afternoon. Everybody's well enough to play a little bit and get some fresh air. And I'm a big believer in giving the kids fresh air every day. Well, Good hygiene can't prevent every little thing from striking our house. I do think that I have a good system. I wash all the kids' cups and cutlery in hot water after each meal, and then I move on to the other dishware and the bigger pots, and so I go from cleanest and what touches their mouths first to dirtiest. It's now 6.30 in the evening, and everything is cleaned up after dinner. Jesse wonderfully made beef wraps with 
lettuce and rice, uh, cheese. It was just great. He took over that completely this evening because I was still woozy. As soon as Jesse came home with Philip around 2.30 in the afternoon, I got to go upstairs and rest for an hour, which was just heavenly. And he took over the childcare and then he made a great dinner. We're a family that thrives on routine. So I'm able to clean up. I did wash the dishes. We got underneath the sink all cleaned out with the recycling and garbage so that that's not festering till tomorrow. And all these little things that we do in our house really help when, when there's a setback like illness. I think living a minimal lifestyle and having a routine for everything really helps when there's illness because you just have less material things to do and you can focus on your own recovery and that just takes a big burden off me having that routine and our the big thing is a really supportive husband who when you're down he takes over 100% this marriage works with 100% me 100% him and we have to be there for one another thanks for joining me on the coosters hidden years channel today I hope that you are feeling well and please pray that we get over this really fast. I hope you've enjoyed watching some of the things that I've done to help me and the kids throughout the course of the day. And I hope that you are blessed with good health this week. Bye.